backing this, and I could use all the help I can get. Tony Katz, 93 WIDC. Why are Republicans trying to save Obamacare? What is it that I'm missing? That I've got not only Republicans backing this thing, I've got President Trump okay with this. Listen, listen to this. The, two senators. you got Lamar Alexander and you have Patty Ann Murray. Lamar Alexander is of Tennessee. Patty Ann Murray is of Washington State. The agreement, the agreement is to the idea um, that they're going to, they're going to continue to prop up the exchanges, which are falling apart. The exchanges, which President Trump has signed executive orders that would allow people to have better opportunities for buying across state lines by creating more groups, because those groups can do those kinds of things. And he ended the subsidy payments, which are indeed unconstitutional. So now Congress, uh, the Senate has moved forward with an idea that will restore the cost-sharing reduction payments to insurers, and it would allow states to sell catastrophic plans. Now, I'm a huge fan of catastrophic, right? I'm a huge fan in, in the world of insurance, uh, cancer and car accidents, right? That, that's where I like to be. I like to be in, in, in covered in those two places. Everything else, I, I think we sh- you should be on your own. Everything else, I think that you should be very okay with the idea that we treat it not like some uh, separate market. We treat it just like everything else. You need breaks, you get breaks. You need to see a doctor, you pay for the doctor. We shouldn't treat it uh, in a strange way because that creates the artificial economy. So much of healthcare is an artificial economy. But listen, the president was asked about this in a press conference yesterday after I saw him. After I saw him, he went and talked to other people. Uh, he's a love him and leave him kind of guy, I guess. I did an interview with the president you can catch at WIBC.com. I was in D.C. for it. But here, here's the president in his own words on this exact subject. Apparently, uh, Lamar Alexander has said he's made a deal with Senator Patty Murray to stabilize Obamacare. Has the White House been involved in those negotiations, and will you support that deal? Yes, we have been involved, and this is a short-term deal uh, because we think ultimately block grants going to the states is going to be the answer. That's a very uh, good solution. We think it's going to not only save money but give people much better health care with a very, very much smaller premium spike. And you look at what's gone on with that. Also, much lower deductible so they can use it. Uh, Lamar has been working very, very hard with uh, the Democratic, uh, his colleagues on the other side, and Patty Murray is one of them in particular. And uh, they're coming up, and they're fairly close to a short-term solution. The solution will be for about a year or two years. A year or two years is not short-term. Three weeks, that short term, a year, two years, this is Congress. That's going to last forever. I don't understand what's happening. I was very pleased to see President Trump put an end to the subsidies. The subsidies were unconstitutional, put forth by President Obama because Obamacare doesn't work because it doesn't work. I don't believe in lying to myself. It doesn't work. So someone explain to me what in the world the Republicans are doing. I don't I I am at an absolute loss on this one. Do they really think politically it is such an absolute loser to say to America Obamacare doesn't work, it's over. It's not a loser. It might be tough, but it has to be done. Or is this all about that sweet sweet Medicare cash? Because the truth is the states love the Medicare expansion or Medicaid expansion. They love it, they adore it, they want it. They just they want all that cash. They want to go full Dom DeLuise and treasure bath this thing right up that's what they want so they'll do anything to keep that going someone give me an answer because this i have often said that the republican party is the party of stupid tell me after this i'm wrong or tell me why i'm wrong i am all ears more coming up including my interview with the vice president of the united states mike pence i'm tony katz I just keep hearing repeal, replace, repeal, repeal, 